up everybody? It's Mark Bandola here at Personal Space TV at Space Bar Recording Studios with Cortez. Cortez, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, man. How are you? Good, good. So, it's a little bit different than what we usually do. You are a DJ, right? Yes. But you are... A visual artist, and I use esoteric urbanism. Perfect. I'm glad you said. I'm glad you prank. said that because I'm, I was searching for it. I couldn't really pronounce it correctly. So I'm yeah, esoteric urbanism, and a good friend of mine, Ken Jacobs, came up with the term. She was describing my artwork to her son, who was about 14, mm -hmm. and said, "This is esoteric urbanism. You could keep that." And I kept it. <laughs> That's awesome. So, now, what does esoteric urbanism stand for? It's basically just a way of describing my artwork. Um, esoteric means understood or meant for a chosen few. Okay. And so I want to take it beyond that, but basically my work is very different. It kind of has its own style, own signature, even though it's influenced by a lot of things that is, that are, that is already out there. Um, Keith Haring's a big influence, Andy Warhol, Basquiat. Um, graffiti, house music, all of that rolled into one big pot of jumbo okay. or gumbo. Awesome. <laughs> Sorry, so we're gonna, we're gonna pull back a little bit. So, where are you from? I'm from Scotch Plains, New Jersey. Okay. I went to school in North New Jersey, and that was where I got my first um, my feet wet into graffiti culture, um, club culture, and. It, big influence on my artwork and you still see it there today. Awesome, so you have, you went from, you said Basquiat, Warhol, anyone else that really, you know, got you, it really motivates you to still keep doing what you're doing right now? Just um, artists that I know and see, you know, um, it, it's very easy to look at big artists and see what they're doing and open up the books, turn on the TV, but when you see artists that you can, basically call up on the phone and they're still going. It's, it's a really innovative and motivational thing. Awesome. So you, you mentioned artists and I, I have to ask this because many people not even remotely known to art, uh, just most recently, I guess, um, know who Banksy is. Okay. Nobody, nobody knows who, what he looks like, for, right. obviously. Right. Um, now, what are your thoughts on him? I love him. Simply love him. He, he's an inspiration too. Okay. Um, he, he's definitely breaking boundaries on, on what is art. I mean, it's graffiti art, but then it's performance art. It's a little bit of everything, and I love that. Okay, so now, and you went, you actually did some graffiti as well, right? So you, you did a little bit of that, and then you kind of moved over to <clears throat> esoteric, esoteric urbanism. But doing fine art, it's fine art. Right. Esoteric urbanism is just brand. Okay, now, how many pieces have you really done? I mean, give or take, I'm sure you've probably done a lot more than you know, but you know, give or take, how many pieces have you done, original pieces? Thousands. Really. That's that's great. So yeah. um, after the after this we're gonna have to get your number and we'll have to get one for my house. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> now where can we find some of your stuff? Because I know we've mentioned off camera that you know you want it to be a little bit more accessible. So tell me something. Yeah, I I I do work in galleries and I also do work in alternative spaces like um, restaurants. So from Asbury Park on up to Jersey City, you can find my artwork. Um, Palette Art Gallery, um, At the Table um, restaurant in Asbury Park, um, Gia Gelato Cafe, um, and City Life are just some of the spaces that are going to be having my artwork. And now, is there any events that are going on? Because I know you kind of mentioned yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. In April, I have this big event going on. It's called Misogyny is the Root of All Evil. And it's a collaborative effort with me and other artists. And we're dressing misogyny. And then um, Gia Gelato is part of JC Fridays. So that season is starting up. And so the first Friday, they advertise as a big citywide event. And so I'm going to be doing stuff at Gia Gelato and City Life. Okay, now you you also we got that information good. Uh, you mentioned as well a little bit of DJ painting club atmosphere. Yeah. Tell us more about that. I, I do live painting in clubs. It's basically just painting in front of the audience, along with everything else that goes on in the club. And for me, it's I love it because I get to paint with my favorite DJs, listen to the music, and for me, it's always clubbing has always been about the culture so also working 
So if I'm not DJing, I'd rather be painting. Right. So there, there's my next question. So you, you, you were, you were a DJ, right? Uh, and or still, you, am, you still, I still am a DJ. DJ. So yeah. what, what came out first, DJ or the art? Ooh, a little bit of both. Okay. But I think I put more of a focus on DJing mm -hmm. than the artwork because I don't. Know, you know, you're in school and you want to DJ the party, you want to get the girls. So DJing was a little more accessible. Okay, now, maybe we can flip the script. You mentioned a few years where the artists get the girls and the DJs just, just in the corner doing stuff, just spinning the music, right? So um, it looks like we have some of your, your work here, right? Yeah. Um, so we're gonna take a break and we're gonna see some of your work. And where where can we find your you know your social media information? Where can we where yeah can we get that esotericurbanism.com is the website and esoteric urbanism at Facebook, esoteric urbanism at Instagram, and esoteric urbanism at Twitter. Okay, so esoteric urbanism, everybody. Yeah. So appreciate you. Thanks Thank for coming, you. and uh, we're gonna head right over to see your work.